Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Tension. We're back on the channel with another absolute slap. And now in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the top five guns, in my opinion, inside of Apex Legends Mobile at the minute. Without any more talking, let's get straight into it. So taking the number five spot, we have the Volt SMG. Now this is an uh, energy SMG. It has the fire rate and the damage of an SMG, but also has the range of an AR. And it has very little recoil, so this is a new friendly gun. So if you're new to the game, I'd recommend you picking it up. And the hip fire spread on it is actually cracked. Not to mention it's got one of the best iron sights in the game. The stats for the Volt SMG is 12 damage to the legs, 15 damage to the body, and 25 damage to the head, which is relatively good for a SMG. And the reload time on this gun is uh, 1.6 seconds on a non-empty clip and 2.25 seconds on a full empty clip. Now this gun will dominate at close range. The only guns it might get outgunned by is like an R99 or a Prowler with select fire on because of the high fire rate on them guns. This this SMG has a relatively low fire rate to, compared to the other SMGs, but it'll also it'll also compete with ARs at mid ranges as well. This this gun is an energy gun, so it has very little projectile drop off, so it's really good in their mid to kind of long ranges as well. And now moving on to the number four spot, we have the Devotion. Now this is a love or hate gun. Either you love it because it actually beams and it puts out super high damage with a really high rate of fire, or you hate it because of how overpowered it is. Either way, the Devotion is is clearly one of the best guns in the game. And on the console version, it has super super hella recoil, so you can't really control it. But in here, it's really controllable. It's actually really easy to use after you get the start up. Like when it starts shooting, you get that pattern down. Um, the stats for the Devotion are 14 to the legs, 16 to the body and 32 to the head with a 35 round mag uh, base magazine. Now this, this gun is an LMG so it does take 2.8 seconds uh, for a non-empty reload and 3.6 seconds for a full empty reload. Which is not actually bad for an LMG if you look at the ones in COD or any other games. Personally this is one of my favourite guns, I always pick it up every time I get a chance to. You can absolutely obliterate three people in one clip if they are if they're lined up or if you've got your aim on properly. Um, yeah, it's one of the best guns in the game by far. The range is crazy, the damage is crazy and it's all it's just all around a good gun. Okay, next up we have the Flatline, one of the hardest hitting assault rifles in the entire game. The only setback to this gun I feel like is the recoil because the recoil long range is really hard to get used to. It has a kind of slow fire rate so like in their mid short ranges you're going to lose some gun fights to maybe like the R301 or the R99 but the hip fire on this gun is actually insane. I urge you to try this gun, it's probably like, it's literally like the third best or second best gun in the game. The stats on this gun are 14 to the legs, 24 to the body and 33 to the head, that is an insane amount of damage. The reload time on this gun is 2.4 seconds with a non-empty clip and 3.1 seconds with a full empty clip. I urge you to use this gun, this gun is actually insane. It's also kind of noob friendly as well if you use it as an up close gun because of the hip, hip fire capabilities on it. And taking the number 2 spot we have the R301, this is a fan favourite gun, everyone loves to use this gun, it's really new friendly too because of the low recoil so you can beam absolute miles away, it has very little bullet drop off because it's one of the light guns, it's not like a heavy where you've got to shoot super far in front, this is easy, really easy to use, the hit fire on it is actually insane and the rate of fire allows you to kill from uh, close, medium and long ranges. The stats for the R301 is 11 to the legs, 14 to the body and 28 to the head. This is really good damage for how quick it fires and how low recoil it's got. You can literally beam across map with this gun, it doesn't matter what site you go on here, it could be a 3x or a 2 to 4x, it doesn't matter, you can literally beam miles away. I highly recommend using this gun and also the hit fire on it is actually cracked. Like you can use this gun up close aiming down sight or hit fire and it really doesn't change it at all. And now you might ask yourself, what could possibly take the top spot if the number 3 is the flatline and number 2 is the R301? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's actually a sniper rifle, the care pack sniper rifle, the one and only, the only gun in the game that can one shot to the head, the Kariba. Now this gun is absolutely insane, especially with the aim assist in this game, you can proper quick scope people, get that 145 tag off real quick, and even if you only get the 116, that's still all their shield if they're on the red armor, well almost. This is a bolt action sniper, so you will have to cock it back. It's got five shots in uh, in the mag. It's a it's so overpowered. That's why people want it banned from competitive because because of how good it is. 
the, the damage stats to this gun is 116 to the legs, 145 to the body, and 435 to the head. Yeah, that's right, 435. This gun is actually insane. If you ever see it, I highly urge you pick it up. Even if you just go for a no scope before switching to your other gun, if you do get, do manage to get that 145 tag off on them, you're definitely 100% winning the fight. This gun by far is my favorite gun in the game, apart from the Devotion, but this is a care pack weapon, so it's kind of in its own category. This gun is absolutely insane, like I said, I, you can't you can't get enough of it. Once you get it, you just think, yes sir, this game is a dub. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do like these type of videos. Please let me know down in the comments what I can improve on. I'm all up for constructive criticism. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the thumbnail. I'm going to spin your boy Tundra, and I'm out. Peace.